Hello friends, for today's art therapy, we are gonna be painting this watercolor using some gouache, whimsical folk art, spring landscape painting. We're using lots of green for St. Patty's Day and it is very spring inspired. It is great for the beginners because we're gonna talk about some complementary colors and a little bit of water control. So <laughs> we will begin the painting. Okay, here is um, the sketch. If anybody wants to sketch it out, we are gonna, I am using my Etcher Everyday Hot Press Sketchbook. I am using my Danielle Smith watercolor. Uh, we're probably going to use possibly a Micron pen or an ink pen, possibly some Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White, and I'm thinking I have been wanting to use some gouache. So that is a possibility as well. So we are going to go ahead and begin. I'm going to go ahead and move this aside and lighten this. And then this way is not so dark. We're going to be using a lot of pastel spring type colors today. So just to represent a beginning of Easter and happy St. Patrick's Day everyone. We are going to be painting a lot of green in this. So I think it's going to be really cute, really whimsical and a, a lot of fun. So grab your favorite cuppa and we will begin and cuppa goes out to my friend Laura who um, she's from the UK so here's a cup of tea Laura and I need to grab my paint brushes so I will be right back I am going to begin with my Cotman size 10 round you guys know I love this thing so and for this guy i want like a pinkish like a dusky pink so i am going to take some indian red but i am going to water it way down and then i am going to take a pinch of some <laughs> sorry you guys I'll go ahead and take a pinch of sap green okay we just kind of want to give it that dusky look I just needed to decide so there and a little bit more Indian red but make sure it's watered down because Indian red is really opaque but when you water it down, it makes a very pretty pink. So there's our color. And we're going to go ahead and begin. I hope everybody is having a really good weekend. I know I am. The sun is out today. It's really pretty but I want to take a moment for people just to say some prayers for in um, Ohio a couple of our towns have gotten hit with tornadoes and so video would have been out sooner but we were having really bad weather so I didn't want to record with sirens for tornadoes going off so we were lucky in my town we were not hit however one did form in my town and it was pretty scary so keep those in mind who actually have been hit 
from the tornadoes around Indian Lake there was three deaths and it was just not good so just keep those people in your prayers please anyway we'll go back to the art I thought it was good time for some wonderful art therapy and spring is just around the corner I know I am ready for it so I thought the color palette we're going to be using is pastels lots of pinks and peaches and light yellows and it's just gonna be loveliness and I love how that looks so we're gonna go on and I'm gonna do a another layer of this and I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here I love this color Indian red is actually one of my favorite colors I have used it for quite some time and I don't use it like really strong in its opaque form I really water it down and it almost turns it into like a potter's pink and I love potter's pink so the, when we begin a, another sketchbook when this is done and I'm not working on hard pressed I think we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start using my Roman Smalls and basically if you have Danielle Smith the colors I am using is the same colors except for it's going to be in Roman Smalls so with that being said I um we'll be able to use the same colors and everything but I want to try out those paints I hear I haven't really got a chance to use them and when I did use them okay so now I want to take I need to look at my little color code we're going to go ahead and take some sap green And I want to add some more Cranacridone gold to it though because I wanted to make it like a green gold so oh perfect that's really pretty but basically my palette is based on the Jane Blundell mix-in palette I love her color palette so much but instead of buying the already curated set, I took a palette from Christy Rice from her new Empty Palette collection, which I love so much. By the way, Christy Rice, I doubt you're watching, but if you ever by some miracle do watch my channel, know that I love and adore your work in your palettes, and I am terrified <laughs> like really terrified to use your curated set so that being said we're just gonna go ahead and go with that so here is our um, green gold color it's looking so lovely and then so now I want to go with a bit of a different shade so we're going to go with some under the sea green i think that's going to complement this shade of green very well so we're going to go ahead and do that i am going to speed some of this along because this is going to be a longer video so some of the parts will be sped along and then some i'll walk you through but for now we're going to go ahead and speed along for this okay now for down here we're gonna go ahead and take our green gold color that we had mix and I am gonna kind of take it through here
and making sure this stays wet because then I'm gonna go ahead and take that under the sea green and try to hurry because I don't want it to dry up. I want it to be a nice even blend. And we're gonna put some of that under the sea green here. And using probably a um, little bit of a cream consistency, because I don't want it to, we're gonna go ahead and I wanna make it a little darker on the bottom. And then go ahead and take in that green gold color and going back over here because I don't want no hard line. We're just going right back over that. Okay. That's beautiful. Love how that looks. So now we're going to go back to the sky or not to the sky, but the layer underneath the sky. And I wanna use that color we made. Making sure we water it down just a little bit and then taking a little bit of that, um, mixing one of that with a little bit of that green color because that's what honestly gives it the that dusky look we're looking for. And for the sky, we kept it a little darker at the top. So this way, we're gonna be able to differentiate between this layer and the sky. Plus we're gonna have some trees. But I thought this color palette is really, really pretty. And I don't always do a lot with pastels. So I just thought this was really spring inspired. Kind of Easter inspired and lots of green for St. Patty's Day. Okay. I love how that looks. I think I'm gonna put a little bit darker here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of this Indian red. So it's a little thicker in consistency, but that's okay, because I want it to be, I just wanna add a little bit more to it. And I did not mean to go over our green gold color that we made, but it happened so we'll have to roll with it but i am gonna try to make it so it's not so obvious let's get some of that up okay and there's gonna be trees and stuff here anyway so it's gonna be hitting but i love that color we made Okay, so now I'm going to take some of this gray titanium, and that is not a part of Jane Blundell's set. Um, that's one that I have added. I just put it at the top. So if you don't have this color, I would go probably with a really, really, really extremely light, um, like raw sienna because um, we're just gonna go ahead, I'm just trying to, or a buff titanium would be good. And that is in the Jane um, Blundell, her curated mix and palette. And I am just gonna take a pinch of this under the sea green, and I wanna slightly just tint it. So basically you would take that gray titanium or buff titanium, whatever you have. 
and actually I'll show you with the buff titanium just basically we're just trying to uh, I like it better with the gray but you can use the um, gray titanium but or buff titanium whoo words are hard okay and then this is our color it kind of makes it into like a sagey color like a real pale sage and that's what I'm going for so I want to put that color right here because basically I just want we want a variant of green shades And I love that color. So now we're just going to go ahead and I am going to go ahead and pause the video, let this dry. And then when we come back, we'll do this little section and then we can do our trees and the little details. Okay, now that we're back to save a little bit of space because you know I'm working on a cell phone hopefully within the next couple weeks I'll be using my webcam and computer we'll keep your fingers crossed anyway I think this is dry enough that we can probably move on and so I went ahead and took some of that gray titanium or buff titanium mix with that little bit of green and I put it there and then this was the under the sea green so now we're gonna go ahead and make some more of that um, uh, green gold mix whoa too thick so I got a little thick I didn't want it to be um, needed to add a water but that was a little too much water we'll get it okay so we'll just take it over here so making sure that's pretty close to our mix and it is I'm gonna begin with this color and then I'm gonna go ahead and I want to take our under the sea green because we're gonna go in one begin with the one and then we'll go to the other so starting first with this green gold color probably should have used a smaller brush but that's okay and just remember you guys remember water control you don't want too much because you're gonna have a bad mess in your hands Ugh. it will cauliflower which almost happened to me here so if you get to where it's like pulling where it's like a puddle you definitely want to absorb some of that and it went I went down over it definitely needed a smaller brush so let me try to quickly fix that so that's a lesson for what you don't want to do so anyway we're gonna go ahead and move on trying to take the tip of the brush brush here a little bit of a tongue twister the tip of the brush and use that with this under the sea green and I like the under the sea green it's just kind of like a mossy green and I love it so we're just gonna let that do its thing and dry together and then I want to take some of this cronacridone or not cronacridone gold but this green gold mix that we had made and I'm gonna put it right here and 
and that's and that's good so we're gonna go ahead and I want to start the trees up here and I'm gonna decide on what colors so we will come back okay so I got some of my gouache brushes out it's gonna be a combination of etcher and my Sarah Burns gouache brushes and so I want to put in some details of the trees so I am gonna take Sarah's size 6 round brush and what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and take either some of this white or if not the buff titanium gouache and I am gonna mix it with my watercolor so if you guys along that you have a tube of white you can do this and this way I can kind of get to the colors I want and I want it to be a little bit more opaque so that's gonna work so I'm, first I'm gonna take this green gold mix and I'm gonna put in our first tree and basically we're just gonna do some round and the colors we have mixed in our land we're gonna go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up once I do this first row so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing and then after that I will speed it up into the next step this way it's not a mile long so basically for the trees you're just gonna do a little oval some are bigger some are smaller just make sure you're using the different sizes and if you don't have um, a tube of white gouache you can use a little acrylic or um, whatever you have on that color pencil or even if you wanted to honestly you could still use watercolor I just I wanted to use the combination today I have really been enjoying some gouache so I figured why not do both I messed up my little circle here so bear with me I just want to fix it there we go so basically I'm just gonna switch to the different colors because we're just trying to make this just really whimsical and then going back to the green but you guys see what I'm doing so I'm just going to go ahead and speed this part up till we get to the next step okay so I'm gonna take my etcher size 4 now because I really like the sharp point and I just want to add some like little plants so I'm gonna go up and what we're gonna do and this is gonna be super easy first I'm gonna do the little stems just kind of going whatever way And then I am going to take a little filbert and I am just using my little plein air one. It's just so whatever size you guys have. And I'll show you why I like the filbert. Because we can just boom, 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 
boom. How therapeutic is that and how easy? Make this one a green gold. And all I'm doing is turning the brush in different directions. Getting this a little bit thicker. One on top. But basically I want it thick enough, you know. And then I rather have this little moss color. But you want it kind of thick enough. There. Just little leaves. And then if you want them a little thicker, you just kind of press down both ways. Kind of like I'm doing one way. And then the other way. And you'll get your little leaves. So I really like that. I'm going to go ahead and mix them with this Indian red. And I'm going to go back over and clean this up a little. But basically, you just can turn your brush. And it's going to give you these nice little leaves. Doing it on the side works very well. Okay. And I smeared that, so... Or... Just kind of doing the different shapes. There. Okay. So, taking some more of this green. Mixing it. Um, with the sap green and... Mixing the sap green and the under the sea green. And then I'm going to take some more of the white gouache. And trying to get it to the color. Not all the, you know, I want a little bit of water with it. And then once again, we're just kind of going to dab, 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 dab. Just very slowly dabbing this. Being mindful, we don't put our hand per usual in the paint. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this etcher and this time, for those who don't have like a filbert, we're just going to make little, taking the point of the brush. And just making these really tiny little leaves. Just kind of rotating it. Just kind of making it really, you know, wispy. Okay. Doing a little bit of grasses. And I love this little brush for this. It just does really nice strokes. Hopefully I'm in camera and I'm, I'm going to just scoot it up so you guys can actually see it. And I'm just very lightly Just trying to add a little bit more detail to this front. And then 
and add in the different tones. It don't have to be realistic because like I said, this is all whimsical, just a little bit of art therapy in our sketchbook and having fun. And I really love how that looks. Just add in another layer so it's not all short. Wonderful. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fix this one up. And that's the nice thing with gouache. If you kind of, if you mess up, you can definitely go back over it. Unlike watercolor. It's a little bit more forgiving I feel okay so I think I want another plant here so just kind of making some more of them leaves And then just for the heck of it, we're going to throw a little bit of that pink color in. Why not? Just a little bit of hints. Keeping it super magical. Okay, guys. Now... I am going to go ahead and use my fountain pen and we're going to go ahead and put in the details of the trees. And basically I'm just going to use a straight line. And then put it in these little... little branches. I'm still getting used to this sailor pen so you'll have to bear with me while I get used to it. I've only used it a handful of times so I'm trying to use it more because I want to do some urban sketching this summer. But basically your trees, you can do however. I'm struggling with this pen, so you'll have, I'm sure, a lot more success than me. But trying to get used to new things. And then we're going to go down on these, and then I'll do the inside. And I'm trying to keep the tree trunks, like, different levels. You don't want them all like the same shape and sizes. To me, that's just no good. But I love <laughs> this color palette. I really do. And everything goes really nicely because the pink and green are contrasting colors on the color wheel for those beginners and a little bit of color theory and then we're just going to go straight down on these and if you guys can't see hopefully my hands not in the way I'm just kind of rotating the lines so they're just like so. The first ones were rough, these ones look a lot better. A little bit better with the pen. Okay, so we have all of that. And then I am going to take my new white gel um uni ball and I want to make 
maybe. I was going to say, it is brand new. It better work. Possibly. Oh, goodness. Let's see if I can get this to work. Well, malfunctioning Unipen, guys. Sorry about that. Let's try it again. So, that's not going to work. Darn it. All that spells go to a Posca. So, using the Posca. If you guys have a Unipen that works, by all means, I use that. Okay. Mine did not work. So, and it was a brand new from Michaels. What a bummer. But basically, I'm trying to just doodle some of these little curly cute things for some decoration. Okay. And then I want to put... some embellishments to the page and then we'll do dots here too I think they look really cute and then line here this would have been easier with the uh, uni pen but since mine did not want to work We're just going to do it this way. So if yours guys, if it works for you, use that. And then... Mm, I think we'll put little curly cubes here too. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you like the content that you're seeing, please um, like and subscribe and let your friends know. Please share the video. This way YouTube knows I am doing a very nice job. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the supplies up and get ready for the big reveal guys i will be right back okay this is one of my favorite parts taking the tape off it is so satisfying i feel and i love that it gives the border well the page a nice little clean border most of the time I remember but every once in a while I will forget and it makes me kind of sad when I do but I really love how this turned out I hope you guys enjoyed the painting adventure today and some art therapy so Stay tuned to the next video. Bye, everyone. God bless. Stay safe.